Walking in the Spirit, Galatians 5, 16 to 21. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. You lose your blessings. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, witchcraft, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, rivalries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians five, twenty-two to 26. But by the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such thing there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh and its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another and envying one another. So now look at the board. The triangle in this represents a stronghold. The enemy introduced sin, transgression, and equity into the human paradise, which are basically all the works of the flesh. That's what he introduced. Before he introduced those things, it was only the fruit of the Spirit, and there's only nine of those. So Adam and Eve came into being. Okay, so Adam and Eve came into existence and. Sin, transgression, and inequity was introduced by Lucifer, who then turned into Satan after he introduced inequity. So you see Adam and Eve, the overlay, shame, they were naked. That was the first indicator of inequity. Then they had offspring, Cain and Abel. And together, then Cain murdered Abel because of the transgression that was introduced. Satan or Lucifer introduced the knowledge of good and bad. So that introduced an equity to allow for all of these things to occur. Then he introduced deception and rebellion into the human pair. Before all of this occurred, Adam and Eve lived in perfection, which is why as humans, we all want to be perfect. We had all the fruits of the spirit and inequity was not introduced. We are in agreement to bind all the unclean spirits of sin, transgression, and inequity, which are confusion, mind binding, paranoia, mental illness, fear, mind idolatry, pride, fear of authority, perfection, covetedness, affection, false burden, doubt, impatience, indecision, self-deception, grief, rebellion, rejection, insecurity, jealousy, bitterness, strife, control, retaliation, Nervousness, accusation, sensitiveness, persecution, worry, withdraw, depression, heaviness, passivity, addiction, escape, death, cursing, lewdness, infirmity, fatigue, inheritance, hyperactivity, guilt, self-accusation, self-condemnation, sexual impurity, cults, competition, Addictions, compulsions, gluttony, religions, false religions, perversion, spiritism, occult, witchcraft, sorcery, dissensions, adultery, idolatry, fornication, hatred, murders, abortion, envy, selfish ambitions, outbursts of wrath, rivalries, perversions, drunkenness, witchcraft, lewdness, uncleanness, heresies, contentions, and jealousies. Amen. We are in agreement to bind all these unclean spirits by the blood of Jesus and the finished work of the cross. Amen.